What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another rap rap. <clears throat> All right, so unless you haven't been on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or whatever, which is totally understandable because some people shouldn't be on their phones all day or they shouldn't be checking for social media stuff all day. They should be relaxing, enjoying their summer, maybe working, maybe with their family, whatever the case may be. But uh, today, some tweets was put out or some, some shots were fired by Floyd Mayweather. He started everything. And it was in reference to a rematch. So basically, he said that people have been speaking up about rematches and blah, blah, blah. Um, that it's not his fault that, <clears throat> that he won. He says he finds it real ironic how every time Pacquiao's name is brought up in the media, my name is always attached to it. This man's entire legacy and career has been built off its association with my name. And it's about time you all stop using my brand for cloud chasing and clip bait and let the names, let the man's name hold weight of its own. For years, all you heard was Floyd is afraid of Manny Pacquiao, but that's funny. But what's funny is, I'm sorry, what's funny is when we finally fought, I won easily that everyone had to eat their words. All the, all of the so-called boxing experts, critics, and jealous American fan base either went mute and ran for cover or made every excuse in the world as to why I should give Manny Pacquiao a rematch. My take on all this bullshit is that you're all just upset that I broke Rocky Marciano's record and I hate the fact and hate the fact that I'm black and high school dropout I'll smarter you all by beating all the all odds, retiring undefeated while maintaining all my faculties simply by making smart choices and even smart investments. Ultimately I will always have the last laugh. Okay, and then Manny uh returned fire. Which was a really good way to return fire, in my opinion. It was perfect. It said Floyd Mayweather, you come to my fight and then you use my name in a post, but I'm the one that's trying to stay relevant. If you want to be relevant again, May Pack 2. So he's saying rematch. Um, and then Floyd Mayweather sent another one out, which was totally about money and how you work for me now and I make more money than you and I made nine million in three minutes and you made uh nine million in 12 rounds you had to get your butt beat and blah 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 so my whole take on this is the same you know um uh i like floyd's business tactics i like the way he does his business and stuff but his fighting style i'm not a fan of um when it comes to all the social media stuff obviously to me, I still think it's always going to be a tie because a lot of people love the underdog story. A lot of people love Manny Pacquiao, regardless of whatever Floyd thinks. Um, it's just always going to be like that. Um, yeah, Floyd is a well-established um, money maker. He's done a lot. He has a lot more followers. Um, and he's done a lot for the sport. He's never been beaten. That's his thing. It makes perfect sense. He's always going to be ahead of the curve. But when it comes to the social media stuff, I'm always going to think that it just doesn't, the optics don't look right when you, uh, you are aiming at it. You're, you're, you're aimlessly shooting at everyone so you know they mention rematch you talk about money they mention rematch you talk about how he beat uh pacquiao but it's, it's again it's about money it's about money it's about money it's about money this guy doesn't change so um there are two things that come along with this in my opinion 
I actually prefer the man he goes out this way and he makes his money and he leaves. Um, I really, really respect his boxing abilities and I really, really respect what he does outside of the ring. Um, so yes, there's a there's a there's a part that's kind of like, damn, you know, who knows if he can beat Floyd Mayweather? Maybe he could, maybe he can't. But um, um, I fear sometimes that Manny might be chasing that fight more than he's caring about his health. I'm not sure if that's true, because in the fights he looks incredible. And to be honest, I haven't seen him slow down that much. I only seen him slow down after the knockout from Marquez. But besides that, I seen him look really, really well. I think he's more careful from the Marquez knockout. But I haven't seen him slow down that much. I think he's still a beast. Um, I actually feel that he was actually slowing down in Marquez uh, Pacquiao 3. I think he started to like really like uh lose his speed a little bit because he's fighting so many different style of fighters that his speed is just diminishing so that's gonna happen um and then um you know the whole arm shoulder thing with, with floyd i believe that that's possible um but who cares you know who cares about your money who cares about you being a boss who cares about uh, any of that stuff you weren't talking before the fight you didn't say a word you didn't say a word when um, Manny was about to fight when he was about to step into the ring you left the arena when it was announced and Manny did not say your name he would just answer the question He's answered it very differently a couple of times, but he's never really called you out. All he said was that, um, you know, he's ready. And, you know, there was one time that he said uh, that Floyd's a fan of his, so he doesn't really have to engage into talks about a fight after all because he's going to his fights and he's, you know, and it does look lame. You know, anybody would, would think that. Because at the end of the day, Floyd doesn't have to go to those fights. If he's making money off of it, then why is he going? See what I'm saying? It's kind of a a weird scenario. And it kind of dampens everything that, that Pacquiao's got going on right now. Either way, if he was to wait for whoever wins between Errol Spence and... Uh, uh, Sean Porter, and he was supposed, to, and he's, and he beats that guy. Whoever wins from that, um, yes, the pressure is going to be on for Floyd to fight uh, Pacquiao again. But I don't think Pacquiao fans are going to be, um, like he, like thinking that he needs to fight Floyd. It would be more of a thing where it's like, wow, he achieved two titles. He unified. Actually, three. Because he has a WBA. And those two those two guys have their own belts. IBF and WBC. So, it will be three belts on his belt. In the welterweight division, that will make him a two-time champion. Maybe three. I'm not sure. But it will make him a three-time champion while unifying. Making him the undisputed. Gaining all the belts that he would that he wanted on the night that he fought Floyd. So he would be missing one title. It would be over for any Manny Pacquiao fan because right then and there it would be like, what else is there for there for him to achieve? And I don't think there's too much of a of a choice for those fighters because Manny Pacquiao is definitely the biggest fight they can get. You know, uh, Sean Porter is not going to jump up to fight Canelo. It wouldn't look right, and nobody would buy it. And I'm not saying anything against Sean Porter, but if we're talking about from here to next year, there won't be a jump of excitement for Sean Porter unless, I mean, he's been doing a lot of the same things for a while. Now, if he beats Errol Spence, yeah, of course, his stock is going to go up, but still. And he's not favored. I'm not really predicting the fight right now, but, you know, I'm leaning Spence a little bit, a little bit. 
And um, I will say this. Earl Spence would rather fight Pacquiao than Canelo. And I don't know if uh, Al Heyman and them want to deal with with uh, uh, Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya because every time uh, Canelo or Oscar De La Hoya has called out Errol Spence, um, Floyd comes out of nowhere and starts talking shit. So um, I don't know if that's going to work. It would be more fan-friendly and easier because they both have the same advisor to fight Errol Spence. Manny Pacquiao fights Errol Spence. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Titles on the line. Legacy. Lineal. Let's do it. So, Floyd Mayweather could talk all he wants, but if you want to talk that boxing smoke, we got you. And we're going to hit you with the history. So, you know, you could say all you want about money and blah, blah, blah. Even Tyson has said that the titles don't matter, but yo, Manny is still fighting. And legacy does matter for, for Pacquiao. Trust me. It does. So, um, Floyd could talk all he wants, man. You know, how come he doesn't talk about the Khabib thing? You know, the guy that beat McGregor in the UFC. How come he doesn't talk about that? You know, there's been rumors about how he's been begging Khabib. Begging him to fight. And he said he won't do it. So who else is he going to fight? He doesn't know yet, but let's call out Pacquiao. Oh, wow. Let's say the things that everybody knows already. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's follow the trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's follow the wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. But when you talk about that boxing smoke, you can't go that deep because all you want to talk is money, and that is not the biggest factor in boxing. The biggest factor in boxing is winning, resume, and what have you done for me lately? Okay? Manny has put his life on the line, he's fought, he's weathered the storm. And he's achieved many things. We all know what they are. What did he gain on Saturday? That gold. So, it is what it is, man. Much respects to Floyd and Team Floyd Mayweather. All those people that like his stuff. Like I said, I like his past. My favorite of Floyd Mayweather through all his eras is uh, Money. The one that fought Miguel Cotto. Um, but once he went T TBE, not a big fan. But anyway, you guys keep tuning in. This is a quick video. want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, everybody that com comments. Thank you for following, subscribing. Peace out. Talk to you later. Let's try to keep boxing alive, yo. Peace.